Good morning. Happy Monday. I am just getting my stuff together. I have to run out the door. It's running a little bit late and it's kind of icy outside. It's a whole whopping... Oh, and actually it is... Nope, it's 33 degrees. <laughs> so I was thinking it was 38. Nope, it's 33. Um, I have my oatmeal here, which you would have saw in my meal prep. And then I have... I'm bringing a yogurt. I have a protein coffee at work. I forgot to drink it on Wednesday. So I have the coffee that I in a cup and my protein shakes. I hadn't put it together yet. So that's sitting in my refrigerator at work. So I already have my protein coffee there ready to go. Um, but I'm actually drinking a little bit of coffee right now. So I have coffee, my one of my Starbucks um Nespresso pods and then some sugar free vanilla um, creamer. So I'm drinking that and I already packed up my supplements and I think I'm ready to go. I don't think I'll probably need with the yogurt and everything, I don't think I'll need to take any other snacks with me um, to work. So I think I'm good to go. So, anyway, cheers. Happy Monday. Here is a closer look of my oatmeal. This is an apple cinnamon um, with reduced sugar cranberry, dry cranberries. So I'll put the points, calories, and protein here on the screen. My lunch today is gonna be the BLT wraps that I meal prepped. I have um, some reduced fat sharp cheddar, some um, jalapeno hummus, and then some carrots. And if you wanna see how I put this together, check out my meal prep video. Also going to take along with me one of these built bars. This is a salted caramel. I may or may not eat this, but I'm just going to bring it with me just in case. Tonight I'm throwing together a little uh, chicken alfredo broccoli casserole. So I have some chicken here. I have this light classico creamy alfredo sauce, some fat-free mozzarella cheese, some rice cauliflower, and some broccoli. Um, so we're going to just combine all these. And I'll tell you right now, that I'm not a huge fan of this Classico Alfredo sauce. I ended up tossing out the rest of the jar because it was not good. I think the only other light Alfredo I've had has been the Ragu, which I did really like that one. Um, but this one, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm having a lot of weird food tastes this week, but it just did not taste good to me. Um, so what I did was I took some chicken. I just These chicken breasts were huge. So I took actually one and a half of them added some of this buttery poultry blend on top of the diced chicken and then I just added in the bag of rice cauliflower and the bag of broccoli which I did kind of heat up in the microwave just for a few minutes and then I added in three quarters of a cup of fat-free mozzarella cheese I added in three quarters of a cup of this creamy alfredo I figured this this dish was going to be three servings is what I was thinking so that's why I did three servings of each one of the ingredients Put everything in a bowl, mixed it up, put this in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes and it came out looking really good. Like I said, I think I would have liked it just fine if it wasn't for that Alfredo sauce because it, it looked really good. I paired it with a side salad and it tasted okay, but I just, I did not like that Alfredo sauce. I tried the Alfredo sauce separately to see, make sure that's what the flavor was, and that's what it was. That's what I did not like. For dessert tonight, I'm going to have a caramel apple Greek yogurt and a honey crisp apple. Same breakfast as yesterday, my um, steel cut oatmeal. For a snack today, I brought one of the healthy eating on the go bars, and this was a really good snack. I love these bars. Love, love, love them. And this peanut butter is one of my favorite ones. For lunch today, I'm having my Greek salad chicken bowl. Uh, you can see how I meal prepped this in my meal prep video that went up on Monday. I will have points, calories, and protein here on the screen. I've been craving popcorn, so I think I'm gonna take some popcorn with me to work as a snack today. So I have some of these Thrive Market sprouted popcorn kernels. I'm not really sure what makes the difference with them being sprouted, but I'm gonna have those. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this with some coconut oil and then add some of this ranch seasoning blend so it's kind of a savory popcorn. And here is my popcorn. For dinner tonight, I am making a cheddar bacon cheeseburger, chicken cheeseburger, I guess I should say. I'm using this 98% fat-free ground chicken, some of the sweet and spicy, no sugar added raised 
um, barbecue sauce, some reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese, some bacon bits, and what I'm going to do is just put in, I put in three servings of the bacon bits, I put in four tablespoons of the barbecue sauce and three quarters of a cup of the cheese, put them in the air fryer for 20 minutes, I did 10 minutes on each side at 390 degrees, paired that with a side salad, and that was my dinner. You guys, it was really good. Now, I'll tell you right now that I did not eat two of those burgers. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I had just one on there, and it looked so terrible for the picture, and I wanted to put the picture on the thumbnail, and it just looked really bad, so I decided to add on another burger just for the picture. It was definitely filling without two burgers, so just wanted to let you guys know that. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.